Hello guys, and welcome to Order 43. I do understand it's been a while since I last posted a video. Uh, I've been busy. Um, however, let's go ahead and do 43. Uh, so we're given a 0 to 9 pangito number with an interesting substring divisibility property. Meaning that if the first value is D1, then we have to copy the next three adjacent numbers to D1, which is going to be D2, D3, and D4. And then since we're at D2, we copy D3, D4, and D5 and so forth until we get to D8, D9, and D10, all right? And these uh, substrings have to be divisible by primes from 2 to 17. We're then asked to sum all of the 0 to 9 pangito numbers with this property. So this is a fairly easy problem. I think anybody can pretty much solve this. Um, so let's get started. So Two tutorials ago, I provided you guys with a uh, permutations class, and I'm going to reuse that. The reason why we're using permutations is kind of good is because it provides all of the numbers as pangito, so you don't have to write a pangito function for it. Um, so all you have to do is check to see if the number has that divisibility, that substring divisibility property. Um, I think one of the best ways to do this is just to keep um, a final uh, static. Uh, let's do int array here of the primes that we're going to use since those are not really going to change and that's going to be 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and 17. So my regular keyboard, the one I use for my tutorials, uh, I spilled water on it so I'm back to using my mechanical keyboard for tutorials which is not the best but it works so uh, until I can replace that this is what I will be using. So remember a few tutorials ago, I showed you guys how to create interfaces in Java so that you can use them or functional interfaces so you can use them uh, to create lambdas. And I told you guys that there was actually a built-in class, which is the predicate class that you can actually use. And I was just trying to show you guys how to create the stuff from scratch. In this tutorial, we're going to be using the predicate class and work through that. All right. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to create a private static. Uh, predicates and these predicates actually are generic so you can pass in what type of value you're going to be working with. I'm going to pass in a string here all right and we're going to call this one let's just call it divisibility all right so this is going to equal right and we're going to take in a value here then we're going to pass in that lambda function and then we need to just implement the body of, of this okay um, so what do we need? The first thing we need to do is to keep track of our uh, prime index and this is going to be the primes.length uh, minus one because we need to access those values. And the next thing we want to do is uh, get that substring divisibility. So I'll create a variable here, I'll call it location. And this is going to equal to the string.length. And since we want to grab the the values um, is easier. Well, it's more efficient if you grab the values from the back. The reason is because I think less numbers will divide 17 than will divide 2. So if we start from the back, we can easily short circuit this and make it a little bit more faster. All right. So I'm going to say if location, um, all right, minus 3 is greater than 0. Since we don't really want to grab the first digit. Right, we want to start at the second index, which should be one. Right, uh, we don't need to grab zero, so we're going to say that location uh, minus minus. And next, we want to do is actually grab that um, uh, substring. So we're going to say var num is going to equal to uh, integer dot parse int, and then we're going to go ahead and pass in str dot. Then we use substring here. We're going to pass in location minus three. And then the location, All right? Uh, next, we want to do is we need to actually short circuit this. So we're going to say that if right um, number mod, we're going to use the prime and pass in the index, and we could just do minus minus here. And if this is not equal to zero, so we're going to short circuit this part. Let's go ahead and return false. Um, the reason why we can't return true here is because we have to go through all of the values. And if we just return true, true here when this is true, then uh, if it's divisible, then we never um, get to 
uh, go through the rest of the numbers. So let's go ahead and return uh, true here. Okay. And this is pretty much it. So instead of us writing an interface here and then creating the definition for the interface, we can just create a predicate. And then once we want to go ahead and go through the permutations through the sets that we're going to get here, uh, we can pass this into the filter rather than the interface that we created ourselves. Next we want to do is to sum the substring divisibility property. So we're going to say private uh, static uh, long, and this is going to be, mm, I don't know, uh, sum sub string DBC values, I guess. And that should work. All right, long enough and descriptive enough. All right, uh, so what do you want to do? Well, we want to go ahead and generate our permutations. So, so permutations, permutations is going to equal to permutation, uh, permutation. And you can either just write 0 to 9 or 9 to 0. It's up to you. I'm just going to go backwards since it's probably faster. And then let's go ahead and assert check if the permutations is not equal to null just in case um, you know I make a mistake and we don't grab the permutations and then the next thing we want to do is to um, get the values so we're gonna um, we're gonna use our predicate up here so let's go ahead and return and then we want to do uh, permutations and let's utilize the threads for this and then we're gonna go ahead and filter by our uh, divisibility predicate. And then we're going to go ahead and map. Um, the reason is because, well, the values in the set are actually strings and we wanna go ahead and um, convert that to a long. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, use uh, parse long here. And then I wanna go ahead and reduce those values. So I wanna go ahead and add those values. And I'm gonna do um, zero L. So if you don't add the L there, this is going to get confused. And it's going to think that you're going to, you want to use uh, integers. All right. And then we're going to do uh, long. And then we're going to pass in sum here. All right. And um, this is pretty much it. All right. Uh, what we want to do next is just uh, create main. So do public static uh, void main. And then let's just do print out the results. And this is going to be substring divisibility. And let's go ahead and run this. And this should be the result for this problem. All right, guys, this will be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. I understand that it's been a while since I've posted a video, at least, what, two weeks, I think, now. Uh, I'm going to try to make more time for these videos. It's just I'm really, really busy with a lot of things. Like, my life right now is super hectic. All right. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good night. Bye-bye.